Hello and welcome back to The Restaurant Show. Right now I'm very happy to be joined by Sal from Naples 15. Sal, thanks for coming in today. Very, very welcome. Thank and you. I understand we have some very unique dishes. The first one, uh, Vesuvio de Bacchari. De Bacchari. De Bacchari. Vesuvio de Bacchari is um, a dish that was created for the first time from a famous chef from Naples. It's called uh, Ed Alfonso Iaccarino. It's uh, one of the greatest chefs, actually, in Naples, one of them. Many and uh, and they have a restaurant that's called uh, Don Alfonso. It's a wonderful restaurant in Naples, and this is uh, we change a little bit the recipe because we're using, uh, you know, in the San Marzano where we use also, and we made it with the ragu this time. So, the, and the recipe is very simple and very complex. In the meantime, uh, is baccheri uh, noodles, um, like inside our form, with the ricotta cheese and fresh mozzarella and a um, little bit of um, uh, a, a polpettine, uh, like a small meatballs. So we, yep, you know, we make this, of course, and uh, then we use this ragu, and that made with the Zamarzano tomato, and uh, uh, three kind of meat, ribeye and uh, traciulil, it's like uh, the pork ribs and the uh, pork shoulder. So and you're telling top, me that the Samarzano tomato is the best you can get, right? The best you can get and the best, you can get, the best uh, you can find uh, uh, for, for flavors. Wow. And it's only growing in Naples. So that's the start with uh, with uh, beautiful ragu sauce. Mm -hmm. You want to sparkle in some parmigiano. And body basil, the basil. Just as fresh as that is too. It just fills the whole room with good smells. Yep. And the plate is gonna be ready mm -hmm. with uh, wonderful colors. And, and and the Vesuvio is the symbol of Naples. Okay. That's the plate. So that's the dish. That's the dish. Oh my god. And it, I wish you guys could smell at home. And when you cut them up. Amazing. And this dish I would recommend uh, of course uh, but my favorite wine, mm -hmm. one is Radicio di Mastro Berardino. It's a wonderful wine. And also the other one is Villa dei Misteri, the only wine made in Pompeii. It's a really, really great wine. And the two grapes is called Shashinoso e Piedirusso. In the other words, it's a 2,000 years old story come back to life after this wine. Wow. It's wonderful, wonderful wine. Very impressive. So this is the first dish we do. Okay. So we're gonna put them over here. And and the next one it translates to uh, the next one is the, the flavor of the sea, the sapori del mare. In the other word, uh, we have all uh, like all sea on the one plate. If you wanna say. Oh wow. We have a mussels, we have a sepia, cuttlefish, gamberoni, manila clams. It's, it's everything so fresh. And scallops. Fresh scallops, mm -hmm. we call the capesante. So the start of this dish is very simple, like the Neapolitan cuisine, actually. It's olio, a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Pulcinella always here. <laughs> Pulcinella is the mask of Naples. The mask of Naples. La maschera di Napoli. With the garlic. Uh, cook the garlic for a little bit. Does it come out and kind of breathe a little bit, get that pop to yep. it? Need the, pop, need the flavors. Need the salt. And he was telling me they got and wine the, pairings for absolutely everything they have. The, this is just some of the samples that he brought Some of the samples and some of the wine. And um, okay, the gold. Uh, A little bit of uh, uh, tomato. The reason we bought the first the cherry tomato because uh, the cherry tomato is uh, in the oil and the garlic. It gives more flavors for mm -hmm. the you know for, and uh, for the sauce. Fresh parsley. Mm 
for the parsley too. You can tell that stuff is very fresh that we're trying as well. Okay, after that, you want to put the seafood. Got all the seafood in with that. So many different fish, you can kind of see why that's called the flavor of the sea. You get everything. Flavor of the sea, we got, we, got the, we got the scallops, mm -hmm. the sea scallops. We got the cuttlefish. We got the gamberoni, crumbs, and the Mediterranean mussels. And uh, on the end, uh, in the Manila cleanse. Mm -hmm. This dish you can you can talk uh, for you know for, and for yourself because mm -hmm. it's really well it's out. A little mm -hmm. bit of chili, like a red pepper if you want. Okay. A little parsley, so I can believe the parsley too. And um, for um, for sparkling, I mean for um, splash this wine, this uh, dish I prefer this wine. It's one of my favorite sweet wine I ever test. In the other word is. Um, it's a fiano. It's a uh, e a passito of a fiano. It's like a, for sweet, you know. Sure. E a, e a dessert wine, but it's also is wonderful for any kind of cheese dish or other dish. So we use this. And you put that right in for with sparkling, the, with yeah, the fish. For the okay. fish, which I. Sapori del mare, the favorite of the Sapori season. del mare is a start. And then the pasta we're going to present mm -hmm. with the Sapori del mare is the paccheri noodles. Okay. That's the paccheri. Paccheri. Made in Gragnano. And, uh, okay, this is the Torriano Gia de Gragnano. It's mm -hmm. two uh, uh, companies make the paccheri. That's the paccheri cook. We're going to mix it with, uh, with the flavor of the sea. And that's the the del mare. whole dish. And the combination with all dish. And, the, and I'm going to show you the way, you know, the way when it's finished. Looking forward to so seeing the, that. Uh, Naples 15, check out, we have Sal. We'll be right back with more of the restaurant show after this.